Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So I'd like to thank everybody for following me and subscribing, etc. If you're not already, links are below. Follow me on Twitter, retweet this stuff out and get it out there for everybody because I really don't do my own promotion and I rely on everybody else for that. So thank you. So this is going to be the intro video for part two of the Blockchain Decentralized Application Hacking course. Now, as many of you know, I put out part one in 2020 and that covered all of the vulnerability classes, how to exploit them, and really interact with the blockchain using mostly JavaScript and Solidity, et cetera, and doing audits on that code as well as exploiting them. Now, this one is gonna be a continuation of smart contract hacking and DAP penetration testing, AKA Web3. But this is not a rehash of the old material, and this is not an update of the old material. This is all brand new material with a different focus. So there's going to be a lot of programming in this with Python. And what we want to do is we want to understand the Web3 libraries to interact with smart contracts, to interact with the network and understand what the underlying network is doing so that we can better find vulnerabilities within our contracts and also how to attack them with Python. Now we wanna understand how to do this all manually and deeply understand the web3.py libraries. So we're gonna start out with that. And that's gonna be all in part one. Then we're gonna jump into part two, which is gonna be using frameworks and automating our attacks in Python. We will look at some different vulnerability classes while we go through this that were not in part one. We'll also go through some of the stuff that was in part one and doing it in Python. And then we'll automate it with these frameworks. And then we'll look at other frameworks that are solidity based that help us do other things like fuzz contracts and just different ways to interact and automate our life while we're trying to hack these things. We'll also want to take a look at a little bit more real world examples. So instead of little snippets of code like in part one and attacking simple contracts, what we want to do is start looking at maybe full web applications with smart contract backends and IPFS stuff, and interacting with IoT devices from the blockchain that are a bit more comprehensive and how things interact and how things kind of link together and attacking those, not just looking at a piece of code and auditing it, right? And we'll also start looking at other people's tools that help us with automation and help us do unique things that'll help us find vulnerabilities. Then we want to start understanding as well DeFi attacks. And that's going to be kind of part three, where we start looking at a little bit more forensics like we were doing in some other previous videos on this channel, front running attacks, sandwich attacks, finding those as well as flash loans, finding those, understanding what's happening in all of these things, writing code to kind of link things together and look for these things on the blockchain and then analyzing what's happening step by step. That way you understand these attacks and when you're looking at smart contracts, you'll be able to find these vulnerabilities and understand where maybe they're applicable, right? Now, I'm also going to, after the fact, set up a portal and get all of these videos up in there, kind of like a course format, maybe like a teachable type of thing, where when YouTube starts deleting my content, we can flip those out for Vimeo videos, etc., as well as add extra components on there because I'm gonna be building some other courses on other subjects that are gonna be paid for. This is gonna be all free content as far as all of this hacking stuff, et cetera, and automation, but there will be a certification challenge and there'll be some more comprehensive examples that are part of the full course that are separate from all of the learning material, but the learning material is all gonna be free for everybody. So then we'll also be other some courses that I can add into that over time, free courses, paid courses, live streams, etc. So hopefully that all sounds good. Now I'm going to cut this video off and I'm going to create the intro video for part one to give you an idea what's in that and then start making the videos for part one as I already coded all of that stuff up. And then we'll hop into part two once that's done. I'll roll the part one videos out over the next couple weeks. All right, cool. I will catch you later. And thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all of that stuff. Follow me on Twitter. And I will catch you later.